Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 46 The word of Yahweh which came to Yirmiyahu the Nevi concerning the Gentiles. For Mitzrayim concerning the army of Pharaoh Necho, sovereign of Mitzrayim, which was by the river Parath in Carchemish, and which Nebuchadrezzar, the sovereign of Babel, had smitten in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Yoshiahu, sovereign of Yehudah. Prepare the large and the small shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses, and mount up, you horsemen. Stand with helmets, polish the spears, put on the armor. Why do I see them afraid, turned back? And their fighters are beaten down, and they have fled in haste, and did not look back, for fear was all around, declares Yahweh. Do not let the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. They shall stumble and fall toward the north, by the river Parath. Who is this, rising like a flood, whose waters siege about like the rivers? Mitzrayim rises like a flood, and its waters siege about like the rivers, and he says, Let me rise and cover the earth, let me destroy the city and its inhabitants. Go up, O horses, and rage, O chariots, and let the mighty men go forth, Cush and Put, who handle the shield, and Lud, who handle and bend the bow. For this is the day of the Adon Yahweh of hosts, a day of vengeance, to revenge himself on his adversaries. And the sword shall devour and be satisfied and made drunk with their blood. For the Adon Yahweh of hosts has a slaughtering in the land of the north by the river Parath. Go up to Gilead and take balm, O maiden, the daughter of Mitzrayim. In vain you have used many remedies. There is no healing for you. Nations have heard of your shame, and your cry has filled the land. For the mighty has stumbled against the mighty, they have both fallen together. The word which Yahweh spoke to Yirmiyahu the Nevi about the coming of Nebuchadrezzar, sovereign of Babel, to smite the land of Mitzrayim. Declare in Mitzrayim, and let it be heard in Migdol, and let it be heard in Noph and in Tachpenes. Say, Stand fast and be prepared, for a sword shall devour all around you. Why were your strong ones swept away? They did not stand, because Yahweh drove them away. He made many stumble. Indeed, they fell over each other and said, Arise! Let us go back to our own people and to the land of our birth, away from the oppressing sword. There they cried, Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim, is but a noise. He has let the appointed time pass by. As I live, declares the sovereign whose name is Yahweh of hosts. For as Tavor is among the mountains and as Carmel by the sea, he shall come. O you daughter dwelling in Mitzrayim, prepare yourself to go into exile, for Noph shall become a waste and a ruin and be burned without inhabitant. Mitzrayim is like a very pretty heifer, but destruction comes, it comes from the north. Her hired ones too in her midst are like fattened calves, for they too shall turn, they shall flee away together. They shall not stand, for the day of their calamity has come upon them, the time of their punishment. Its sound moves along like a serpent, for they move on like an army and come against her with axes like woodcutters. They shall cut down her forest, declares Yahweh, for it is not searched, because they are more numerous than locusts and without number. The daughter of Mitzrayim shall be put to shame. She shall be given into the hand of the people of the north. Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, has said, See, I am bringing punishment on Ammon of No, and on Pharaoh, and on Mitzrayim, and on their mighty ones, and on their sovereigns, and on Pharaoh, and on those trusting in him. And I shall give them into the hand of those who seek their lives, into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar, sovereign of Babel, and into the hand of his servants. And afterward it shall be inhabited as in the days of old, declares Yahweh. But as for you, do not fear, O servant Yaakov, and do not be discouraged, O Yisrael. For look, I am saving you from afar, and your descendants from the land of their captivity. And Yaakov shall return, and shall have rest, and be at ease with no one disturbing. Do not fear, O Yaakov, my servant, declares Yahweh, for I am with you. 
though I make a complete end of all the Gentiles to which I have driven you, yet I do not make a complete end of you. But I shall reprove you in right ruling and by no means leave you unpunished. Yirmeyahu, Jeremiah chapter 47 The word of Yahweh that came to Yirmeyahu the Navai concerning the Palestites before Pharaoh smote Azah. Thus said Yahweh, See, waters are rising out of the north and shall be an overflowing flood, and they shall overflow the land and all that is in it, the city and those who dwell within, and men shall cry and all the inhabitants of the land shall wail. At the noise of the stamping hooves of his strong horses, at the rushing of his chariots, at the rumbling of his wheels, the fathers shall not look to their children because of weakness of hands, because of the day that shall come to ravage all the Palestites, to cut off from Zor and Zidon every helper that survives. For Yahweh is ravaging the Palestites, the remnant of the Isle of Kaftor. Baldness shall come upon Azah, Ashkelon shall be cut off with the remnant of their valley. Till when would you cut yourself? O oh, you sword of Yahweh, how long till you rest? Put yourself up into your sheath, rest and be still. How shall it rest when Yahweh has given it a command against Ashkelon and against the seashore? There he has appointed it.